I feel these Olympic gold medals can give me a lot of relax because finally I can be able to say to my family, to say to my father, come on, I, I just made a history. So in the future, I wish if I lost, I will say this to him and then he will just let me stay quiet, enjoy tennis. Because I know he always treat Olympic Games more important than the, any of the slams. I think all the Chinese fans same and including me because you can see the strength i have in this tournament the behavior the eyes the hungry i have is different than all the other tournament that i play yeah i wish in the future i could enjoy more tennis play relax and have some fun on court i remember when i entered to the australia final i have a lot of nerves I feel my legs is super heavy. I couldn't perform like the 50% of my level in that final. But in this final, it's different. Even the match with Swiatek, which is I never beat her before, but my body is tired, yes, after a lot of fight. I've been through five matches already. But the match against Iga, I feel I have a lot of strength inside me. If I need to stay three hours just for round and fight against her, I feel I can do it. Even in this final, I jump on the court. I know exactly what I have to do. I know every shot. I have every answer. And I know in the worst case, I just gonna fight like I did all the other match. Because I know, because in if you talk about shot, I had better shot than the than the linkage because I know it but in the final it's not just about shot you know because Kerber has a better you no know, Kerber has worse shot than Serena but she's able to beat Serena in the slam finals today I think the most achievement is my mental strength the journey I had in Olympic Games wasn't easy it's not like the other players they won in two sets I had a lot of tough fights a lot of match I almost lose I was, I remember, 0-2 down in the second set against Navarro, 1-4 down against Kerber, 0-4 down again, second set against Iga Swiatek. But there is a strength holding me behind that I, I just feel I never give up during the games. I don't know why, because, you know, in usual match, maybe I just let the match go away. But for these Olympic Games, I just hold and hold, keep fighting, and finally I made it. And especially to beat the match against Ratek, that means a lot for me because I've been losing against her six times. And finally, right now, I can beat her in the Olympic Games, one of the most important tournaments for me. For the final today, the atmosphere was incredible. All the Chinese crowd were yelling for me. Um, if I was only 19 years old, two years ago, I will be, I will feel this is a pressure. But after with two years experience, when I stand again, when all the crowd cheering for me, yelling at Chinese, which is I understand every word that they say. Sometimes it's not easy when a lot of information come to your head. But today I handled it really well. I just keep calm, always know my where is my position. And I know they do for the good way. Um, I'm so happy with my mental stable today. Yeah, I didn't watch too much the Beijing Olympic Games because I was only six years old and I started to play tennis when I was seven years old. <laughs> so yeah, but you know, Roger Federer has always been one of the first idol for me. The way that he plays so classic and I, I feel that nobody can arrive in his level, you know, people trying to copy him, even me, I watch his video, I study his technique, his tactic, his motions, it's just, it's too good, you know, one day I really want to speak with Roger and let him teach me some tennis and tell me some experience about him.